After listening to the audience, Disney did exactly what fans wanted. Another girl boss show. You don't want to mess with me. <laughs> it's called Renegade Nell and features strong female character Nellie Jackson who hates when men call her by her name. Don't call me Nellie. In this show, we have another female lead that despises men, has an attitude that she's better than everyone else, and has zero character development. It's pretty obvious from the trailer that this entire show is just going to be her destroying anyone in her path. There's not going to be any struggle, anything to overcome. She's badass and perfect exactly the way she is. The only problem she'll have is everyone else. All the men are portrayed as weak, arrogant, incompetent. They're all such a burden for Nell, even the ones that are just trying to help. They just stand in her way, slow her down. They're all just so useless. Nell is played by actress Louisa Harland, who's so woke, she read a letter to all men saying how oppressive they've been to women. Dear men, I want to thank you all for taking care of things for so long. You've done a great job. <laughs> but really, it was you guys who held the reins. Pretty tightly, actually. Phew. That was almost as bad as Brie Larson, but now you know who we're dealing with. Nell's only fault in this show is the men that are against her. And the show is so woke that it contradicts itself. First they say the men don't think she's capable of doing anything, she's just weak. Is that a woman? And then they say that the men think she committed murder. Well which one is it? You can't have it both ways. Either the men think you're weak and useless, or they think that you're capable of killing somebody. The show is a total mess, it's generic, it's bland, it's another girl boss show, and it's gonna flop. And watch, when it does, Disney and the lead actress are going to blame misogyny. Disney still hasn't learned, even after She-Hulk, The Marvels, The Sleeping Beauty remake, and all the other woke Disney films.